Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh and welcome to another video tutorial about AutoCAD today we are going to look at the creation of a title block which is made of borderline, center mark and grid reference so there are many ways of uh, creating uh, this title block according to ISO standard so I have an example here before me so uh, this is the borderline and this is the grid reference and these are the content of the uh, grid reference okay so how are we going to make this so, so first of all this is my model space uh, I want to remind everyone that the title block is made in the layout and not in the model space so it is under the paper space layout so let's go and uh, see our uh, previous example that we've seen in a previous tutorial where we made uh, 11 layers if you still remember in the previous tutorial we've seen a creation of 11 layers that are going to be used in making mechanical drawings so if you if you do have them that's that's good if not then you need to make one uh, and then proceed to finalize your uh, title block however I'm only going to rely on a single layer which is the zero layer and then at the end I'm going to convert the lines into their respective layers so I have a couple of tabs I can remove the extra ones and I can rename the remaining one and maybe I call it title block ISO or ISO title block okay so the first of all uh, this is my port view so if I do have any drawing inside the model space it will show up in my port view and this port view is uh, resizable and you can actually copy and paste the port view many many times and each port view represents its own however I remind you if you delete this circle here it will remove it from all the other port views so you can redraw it back here so to the way to access the port view is by double clicking inside and to get out of it remove the mouse from the inside and then double click outside or else you can use this icon paper model paper model so if you click on the paper you're going to get the model space on if you click on the model you get the paper space on so the paper removes the paper around and the model moves the model around <laughs> okay uh, if this is clear then I'm going to remove this and start working on my title block so you might be wondering what are these dash lines these dash lines are representing the printer margin so every AutoCAD software has uh, a connection with its own printer uh, the printer that is set uh, under the page setup manager so that printer driver decides what are the acceptable margins for AutoCAD and are then they are shown in the dash line okay so let's go and set up our paper by right clicking the tab and then accessing the page setup manager modify button and set your printer to PDF if it's available Adobe PDF and then set your paper to A3 and this affects our title block uh, we are going to make a title block which is designed for A3 paper size and then I'm going to select OK and then close this dialog box so you can see that when I updated my printer version to Adobe PDF the margins have been updated by AutoCAD software uh, regardless what are the margins 
uh, in our software uh, we're going to make the title block uh, in, a, in a way that doesn't depend on these margins okay so how to make the title block first of all we're going to select the rectangular shape command and then we're going to zoom to the bottom left corner and we want to zoom as much as possible until we feel confident enough to make the selection of the corner start drawing zoom out as much as you can and then move to the top right corner and then again zoom to the most that you can and select the corner go as close as possible to the corner and then click OK zoom out yes so we might see the line to be thick this is due to the option of line weight on so I'm going to switch this off again I repeat this is the thick line is shown here because of the toggle button line weight so you need to switch off this off okay once we are done with the frame around the A3 paper I'm going to do an offset command offset command or you can just simply press O and then select enter and then uh, define the space or the distance of offset which is 10 mm or 10 units enter and then select this rectangular shape and move inward and select OK so now I have uh, a border line which is 10 mm from the edge of the paper and this is according to ISO a document uh, if you still remember uh, in some of our classes we've talked about the specification of an ISO title block which defines that the border line should be at a distance of okay so this is an example this is an example of an ISO uh, standard where it specifies 20 mm from the left edge 10 mm from the top 10 mm from the right 10 mm from the bottom and the title block should be uh, on the bottom right corner and this is the border line all around so this is what I'm actually doing so I need to move uh, this line 10 mm extra towards the right and how can I do this while this is in one piece I need to break this down or we call it explode in AutoCAD explode the rectangular shape press enter and it will be broken apart so you can move this 10 mm to the right or you can just even offset it to the right so offset 10 units enter and then select this line move to the right so here you go you have a 20 mm distance from the left edge remove the old line and then try to trim the extra trim enter enter again and then remove the extra line so I have done my border line next I need to define my center marks and the definition of a center mark in ISO document is a center mark is something that is in, right in the middle of the paper right in the middle of the paper meaning if you fold the paper into half then that line would lie on the folding line okay so I'm going to remove this and uh, start making my center mark so the center mark is actually lying at the midpoint of the paper edge so from here I'm going to uh, object track all the way to, to the borderline and then click and start making a 5 mm line this is the length of the center mark towards the inside and then again line make another uh, line of 5 mm length so this is the center mark which is 10 mm in length 10 mm in length 5 inside and 5 is outside 
Okay, what I need to do is now uh, mirror this to the bottom. Mirror this to the bottom. Select OK and then uh, select my mirroring point, midpoint to midpoint. Enter. So here I go. I have my center mark created at the bottom. And likewise, we need to make another center mark for the for the right side. So I'm going to select five units to the left and then five units to the right. And then I'm going to do it by using the copy command. Select the midpoint of the line and then move all the way to the other midpoint and select the midpoint. So I'm done with my center mark. And next I'm going to make my title block. <coughs> so line, select this corner as the start of the object tracking. Don't click, just select. And then move to the left, press 170, which is the maximum width of a title block in ISO, and press enter. Go all the way up. Make sure you have either ortho on or polar on to keep your lines uh, in control. Okay, so I'm going up 70 mm, and this is entirely up to the drafter uh, because uh, according to ISO, the height of the title block is unlimited. You can go all the way to the top of the paper. Anyways, we're using the 70 mm title block, so I'm press enter and then go back to the border line. I'm going to offset by 20 this line downward this line downward and then I'm going to offset uh, my line by 45 from left to right and then I'm going to trim this line and then I'm going to make an offset of 10 mm from here to here from here to here and then I'm going to trim the extra lines here so I'm, I'm done with my title block which really looks like this so actually I'm trying to make this title block according to these dimensions 70 170 and I'm going to fill the title block with the following dimensions uh, a, a text of 2.5 mm height 5 mm height 2.5 mm height 5 mm height and these are all according to ISO in terms of the letter height so in ISO we have letter height starting from 1.8 mm all the way to 20 mm and in between all the values are uh, of the ratio square root of 2 so meaning 1.8 and then uh, times square root of 2 you get 2.5 times root square root of 2 you get 3.5 times square root of 2 you get 5 so on and so forth until you reach the 20 mm so I'm going to make this now so I'm going to select single text single line text select anywhere and then set the height to 2.5 enter the angle should be zero enter and then start writing in capital make sure everything is in capital press enter twice and then relocate uh, freely the the text around the title block and from now on you can just select copy and Paste this everywhere. If, if the object snap is blocking you, then you should switch it off and just place this everywhere. 
okay we can look at this the sizes are 2.5 2.5 and then I have two other texts 1.8 and 3.5 and lastly 5 so I need to set them so a single text and then the height is 1.8 and I'm going to write a date uh, the day and then month and then year and then place it somewhere here and then copy this again and place it somewhere around here and edit the content to be sheet number 1 over n n refers to the number of sheets so this is this is the first sheet of that number and then uh, I need another text which is made of again height of 3.5 enter enter which is A3 paper size and place it somewhere here yes and I need to uh, edit the text scale 1 to 1 material so this should be Uh, scale one to one and this is material and this is title and this is drawing number and lastly I need to create a text which is 5 mm in height and it contains name of owner yes and you should place it here and then copy this down place it somewhere here again here so this should be my first title block and this is my drawing number okay for uh, your information Drawing numbers are uh, alphanumeric uh, writings that are a short form of some, uh, you know, of some understanding. For example, uh, first drawing. Two D drawing. Part one, year two thousand. Sorry, year twenty twenty. Okay, so for example, this one is uh, an abbreviation or an acronym, which we call it as drawing number two uh, D drawing of part one for the year two thousand two twenty. So it could be any alphanumeric uh, writing that is understood by the draftsman. Okay, then next we need to put our uh, projection angle. Uh, and for that we are going to depend on projection angle in ISO. these are the dimensions given by ISO so for a pencil size of 0 0.7 mm your uh, projection angle should be of these dimensions so H small h 7 mm this the capital H is 14 mm so you can reconfigure your uh, projection symbol according to this uh, new dimension and 3 times D. D refers to the diameter of the pencil. So in our case it is 0 0.7 mm. So 3 times 0 0.7 is equal to 2.1 mm. So back to our drawing board. Uh, let's, let's make our uh, projection symbol. So the diameter is 7. Uh, object snap is on select the center of the circle and make another circle with a diameter of 
sorry, with a diameter of 14. And then select line from here, move all the way 2.1 mm, that is 3 times diameter, 3 times 0 0.7, and then move up uh, 3.5, and then enter to end the command. Again, make a line starting from here, move to the right a distance of 14 mm, go up. 7 mm and then connect these two points and you need to mirror mirror this object to get your co final projection angle symbol and then you need to move move the whole thing inside center it around the space provided so here you have a complete ISO title block sorry I have missed some lines so I, I needed to have some line here uh, again I needed some line here uh, you can center this And you can write here, for example, not applicable. Okay, so we are done with our title block, except for the grid reference. So what is a grid reference? A grid reference is a rectangular shape that starts. You can set that rectangular shape by selecting the endpoints of this center mark. Yes, so you're going to be, t uh, sorry, again, select this. Yeah, this is the start. And go all the way up. Again, select the end point here. Select the end point here. And then go up and you get tracked down to here. Okay, done. So what is a grid reference? Is a line, is a rectangular shape that goes all the way around the border line with a distance of 5 mm all around 5 mm so if you check again using the measure distance from here to here 5 check here again distance from from here to here 5 so everything is okay and then uh, every grid reference comes with letters and numbers all around it and before that we need to make the compartments where these numbers and letters are confined so for example I need to copy this line enter select the base of the line and then move leftward and then type in 50 and then again type in 100 and then type in 150 so here I have my three compartments, each at 50 mm distance according to ISO. 50 mm, 50 mm, 50 mm. And then you can uh, mirror this, mirror these three lines all the way to the other side. However, before doing that, uh, I want to fill in the letters first or the numbers. So I'm going to select a single line, write a text of a height equivalent to 2.5 which is smaller than the gap available between the borderline and the grid reference so I'm going to write 1 and this one should be sitting at this approximately select the center location and then copy copy this down to here and here as well and here as well and then you can uh, change the content of it to 3 4 and to make your job easier you just 
and you need to mirror this whole thing all the way to here and then change the content of it 5 6 7 8 sorry 8 okay <clears throat> so once you are done with this you can uh, mirror this down to the bottom so here you have it one two three four five all the way to eight so likewise we're going to create another one on the left side so single text uh, 2.5 in height zero angle and then write a in capital and uh, sorry before that you need to copy the center mark from the bottom all the way to the top it's 50 mm distance and then again 100 and that's it and then move this here to the center and then copy and then move it down center again center again and then uh, try to modify the content this should be B this should be C and then you need to mirror this down yes and modify this is D E and lastly F and then we need to mirror all of these to the other side sorry uh, I need to select another point for the mirror mirror using the rectangular shape midpoint not the paper midpoint and here you have it your title block is done the only thing left is uh, two important aspects first of all uh, converting the respective layers okay so what we need to do change the title block layers so uh, for example uh, everything here should be under what layer should be under the uh, title block what else my center mark and border lines center mark border line center mark border line center mark border line should be all set as title block and you can set your thickness on to see the difference as for the rest uh, these should be all under the this should be under the uh, grid reference selection uh, it's quite tedious there are other better ways to do it however I chose this uh, for the time being uh, you can improvise and find other ways uh, in fact I used to make the layers first and then make the drawing and select the grid reference okay uh, I'm, I'm, I left this out need to select them again grid reference and then you can check whether you've made any mistakes or not by going through the layer walk layer walk okay so move through the title block layer and check whether anything is missing so I have four center marks I have all the border lines intact and complete I have all my text and title block nice and clean 
and then I'm going to select my grid reference again I'm going to look at my letters and numbers 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 A B C D E F everything is complete so this should uh, be final okay the last thing left which is the port view so I'm going to select the layer first port view just to teach you how to select layers and only then make the objects that you want okay so select port view and then go to view select viewport I think I've made a mistake it is called viewport not port view sorry that was a mistake it's not port view it is viewport yeah it is view viewport yes that is the correct name yeah viewport so select uh, under view tab and I would like to uh, draw your attention to the fact that uh, this is done for AutoCAD 2012 however for the latest versions of AutoCAD such as AutoCAD 2017 and, uh, and, and uh, onward uh, there is another tab called layout so you should look for a tab called layout not view but for 2012 it is still under the view tab for those who are using AutoCAD uh, 2017 and onward please look for a layout called uh, for a tab called layout so in my case it is the view tab I'm going to look for the viewport uh, panel and then select the polygonal uh, assuming that I select the rectangular viewport how would it look like it would look like this you would make something like this and your object will look here uh, it will be represented here however I will have uh, a, a misused place or a wasted place here so how to avoid this we are we can avoid this by using the other type of viewport which is called polygonal so you can uh, draw here up to here and then go down up to here up to here up to here uh, before making this you need to take an object tracking point yes and then back to here enter yeah so this is much better in terms of uh, space saving so I can utilize every single space in my drawing paper uh, that's why I prefer to use polygonal viewport so you can use your space so this is a very interesting uh, video tutorial where we've seen how to make the title block according to ISO standard and how to make the viewport finally uh, using the polygonal type and uh, from now on you can just copy and paste this uh, tab and create other tabs for your drawings and you can rename them as one tab one tab two so on and so forth uh, to create so many tabs that you want to use them in the future so I hope that uh, this tutorial was quite helpful uh, thank you so much for now and hope to see you soon